Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Heart Softeners by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari. Dear viewers of the Daily Reminder Network, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa usalli wa usallimu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen, nabiyyina wa habibina wa qurrati a'yunina Muhammad ibn Abdillah, alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi afdalu salati wa atamu taslim, amma ba'd. As always, we begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is our creator, sustainer, nourisher, protector, and curer. We ask Allah the Almighty to shower his choicest of blessings and salutations upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family members, his companions, and all those who tread upon his path with utmost sincerity until the day of Qiyamah. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, insha'Allah ta'ala, for tonight's heart softener, we will be touching on istiqama, otherwise translated as steadfastness. Because this episode will insha'Allah ta'ala be the last episode of the heart softener series. So the question that you and I need to be asking ourselves is that what comes after the month of Ramadan? What comes after the month of Ramadan? Ali radiallahu an is reported to have said that how I wish that I could identify the individual who benefited from the month of Ramadan. How I wish that I can identify the individual upon whom the one who has benefited from the month of Ramadan and likewise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed that individual by accepting whatever good deeds that individual did in the month of Ramadan. How I wish I could identify such a blessed individual so that I can congratulate that individual. Allahu Akbar. And he went on to say that how I wish that I could identify the individual who has been deprived of the blessings of the month of Ramadan. How I wish that I, that I could identify the individual who ignored the month of Ramadan so that I, could, so that I can offer my sympathies towards him. Allahu Akbar. Scholars rahimahumullah, have elaborated that there are a few signs that an individual can use to determine whether his month of Ramadan, whether the month of Ramadan that he attained has been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, the good deeds that he did in the month of Ramadan, whether those good deeds have been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the primary or the most important of those signs, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is istiqama, is steadfastness. Because the individual whom after the month of Ramadan, he removes all of those garbs of piety, all of those garbs of righteousness, and if he were to go back to his old ways, if he were to go back to sinning, if he were to go back to all of those evil things that he used to commit before the month of Ramadan, then it is upon him to identify or it is upon him to grieve because the good deeds or in other words, his month of Ramadan, it is as if it has not been accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But on the other hand, if an individual keeps on persisting in those good deeds that he or she was involved in the month of Ramadan, that he or she was busy with in the month of Ramadan, say for example, going for salah to the masjid, involving oneself in recitation, in excessive recitation of the Quran, pondering on the words of our powerful maker, perhaps going to the halaqat, circles of ilm and uh, seeking knowledge, Allahu Akbar, involving oneself in dhikr, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, involving oneself in various charitable projects, giving out excessive sadaqah. All of these good deeds, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, if they persist and continue after the month of Ramadan, then know for a fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has indeed accepted that month of Ramadan from you, Allahu Akbar. And that Allah the Almighty has accepted the good deeds that you did in the month of Ramadan because you are persisting in those good deeds even after the month of Ramadan. And that is what istiqama is all about, Allahu Akbar. We in our salah, every single salah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Guide us upon the straight path. We cry out to Allah. Ya Allah, guide us upon the straight path. 
path. In other words, keep us steadfast on the straight path. So mustaqim, istiqama, these are all from the same uh, root word. In other words, it is upon us to be steadfast. It is upon us to persist in our good deeds and to keep on doing those good deeds without wavering, without becoming like sticks in the mud. And it is upon us not to lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After all, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, day after tomorrow is going to be Eid, insha'Allah ta'ala. A day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for us to rejoice. Allahu Akbar. After one month, of doing excessive good deeds, of fasting, of involving oneself in, in, in salah, in qiyamul layl, in salatul taraweeh, and other good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed an amazing day, Yawmul Eid, a day of happiness, a day of happiness, a day to rejoice and to be happy. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Noble Quran, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا In the bounty of your Lord, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ In the bounty of Allah and His mercy, let them rejoice. Allahu Akbar. It is better than that which they have gathered, that which they have collected. So it is upon us to rejoice. It is upon us to be happy. Let us use this day of Eid once again to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by being happy and rejoicing in a manner that is within the guidelines of Sharia. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the doors of goodness for us. Once again, let us not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is indeed the most merciful the most forgiving once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was coming back after a particular expedition with the Sahaba Ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhim ajma'in there were captives that they had brought and from those captives my dear brothers and sisters in Islam this was the norm after after war or after battle there was a lady looking for her child amongst the captives because she had lost her child in the battle and she was looking for her child. So she was so worried and there was so much of worry. You could see so much of worry on her face. She was carrying one child, looking at the child's face and then keeping the child back. Because she was searching for her child. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was observing this. And then he asked the Sahaba, Ridwanullah ta'ala alayhi majma'in. And he, uh, he, he said something along the lines of these words. Oh my companions, look at this woman. Look at this woman, she's searching for her child with so much of care because she loves her child, because she loves her child so much. Do you think that if she were to find her child, would she ever throw that child into a blazing fire? Would she throw her child into a blazing fire? And this question was asked by Rasulullah the minute that lady found her child and she carried her child and started to hug her child because she identified her child and relief there were signs of relief all over her face and she was so happy the minute she found her child and she was looking at her child with so much of love at that point rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the sahaba ridwanullah ta'ala alayhi majma'in oh my companions do you think that this woman would throw her child into a blazing fire the Sahaba Ridwanullah Ta'ala Alayhi Majma'in replied, No, Ya Rasulullah, she loves the child so much, she would never do that. Then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says something amazing. He says, Wallahi, Allah the Almighty, our beloved Maker, is more loving to his slaves than that mother towards her child. Allahu Akbar. This is how merciful and how forgiving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Therefore, do not lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turn to Allah the Almighty before it's too late. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah the Almighty makes us all from those who have benefited from the month of Ramadan and that we are all given new slates. So let us use those new slates to record good deeds. Let us not go back to our old ways. Allah save us all. Allah forgive our sins. Let us start off with this fresh lease that has been given to us and let us work towards good deeds, securing beautiful investments that will give us great rewards in the akhirah, in the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our sins and may He accept our good deeds. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, 
as I said in the beginning, this will be, inshallah ta'ala, the last episode of the Heart Softener, uh, Heart Softener series. And in accordance with the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man lam yashkurin nasa, lam yashkurillah. The one who has not thanked the people has not thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I wish to extend a heartfelt gratitude to the local team that was involved in the production, in the video recording of these videos. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. And may He the Almighty forgive their sins and accept their good deeds. And likewise, I wish to thank the brothers behind the scenes. I wish to thank the Daily Reminder Network team. I wish to thank the brothers from the channel who worked tirelessly day and night to, uh, you know, uh, fine-tune the videos and put them up the very next day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them also handsomely and may He the Almighty forgive their sins and accept uh, their good deeds and may he the Almighty unite all of us forgive all of our sins and unite us in the gardens of Jannah and likewise I also wish to thank the management of the masjid for their for their beautiful support throughout the series throughout the month of Ramadan for all the help and support that they have been giving us with that I conclude may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this from us and may he unite us in the gardens of Jannah with our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa akhir da'wai an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen jazakumullahu khair Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate and stay updated by joining our network's social links.